it is Wednesday morning. We're a bit tired. I'm not gonna lie. I actually do look quite tired. We didn't have the best night's sleep because turns out we have quite loud room neighbors like blasting music yesterday really loud and then they turned off the music but then they were speaking loud on the phone forever um so we basically really struggled to fall asleep um but anyway we, we both got our run done this morning um ben went back to the same park as yesterday and i found another one that is actually flat but yes yeah, so basically 7k total 4k speed 3k easy was nice and now we're Almost ready to go out for Becky. about 1 p.m. now back in the hotel so this morning we had breakfast and then we explored Dean village which is really cute uh, and then for lunch we went to a bagel's place oh my gosh I've been wanting to try forever vegan smoked salmon like if there's one thing I miss really since going vegan I mean I don't miss eating dead fish but I do miss the taste of smoked salmon uh, and this bagel place they're 100% vegan and they have a vegan smoked salmon and cream cheese bagel and oh it was so good we both had that um, if you're in Edinburgh I highly recommend going to Black Rabbit they do bagel sandwiches cakes delicious uh, and now we're just gonna spend the rest of the day in the hotel enjoying the facilities we have the pool and the spa booked at 1.30, I'm going to take my book to the pool and just, yeah, relaxing afternoon. in the car we're not leaving yet but we're on our way to the beach Portobello beach which is a beach near Edinburgh city center I mean it's like four miles away so we're driving there um, the weather is nice shame it's not like exactly beach weather it's not even 20 degrees but we thought we would go check it out um, and maybe have a little walk around the beach but so far today where we spent the whole morning at the hotel we had the pool booked at 9 30 and then we went to the gym ben found some like fancy cables at the gym that we hadn't seen before um so yeah we spent quite a bit of time there this morning it's probably the like the best hotel gym we've been to right like what? it's like a proper proper gym uh, and then we had lunch at like honestly the cutest vegan cafe the vegan scene here is quite impressive so yeah i had a pink waffle with scrambled tofu ben had like a pink beetroot burger and he had cake for dessert and i had a biscoff cupcake it's so like 100 percent vegan so good and so cute and now we're on our way to the beach this afternoon there it is there's the beach it is nice Oh my god! Should we walk around here? Yeah, let's go! today but a tough one 10 times one minute effort Whew. but it's done now <sighs> 
Friday morning, almost 8 a.m. And unfortunately, we're leaving this morning. Um, I wouldn't have minded a couple extra days, but I guess, you know, all good things come to an end. Um, so I did my run this morning, interval session, um, and now I am on my way to go pick up breakfast. I'm gonna go to Prêt à Manger. Oh my gosh, my hair. So it's a bit of a disaster. I dried it real quick with a hair dryer and then yeah, not great. Anyway, so yes, on my way to go pick up breakfast, we're gonna have just breakfast in the room quickly and then go home. It's a four hour drive, so we should be hopefully in just uh, for lunch time. Got the goods now. Back in the hotel, I was actually thinking maybe it's not a bad thing that we are leaving today because the cases in Scotland are actually rising again, and we saw in the news yesterday that they're considering maybe another like circuit breaker lockdown. Um, so I do love the city, but we don't really want to be <laughs> stuck here. So yeah, time to go home. yet almost there I think maybe 10 miles away from Chester 14 14 or oh, 14 miles still we've been stuck in pretty bad traffic we are we're not really moving right now but uh, anyway uh, I just wanted to come on here and end this vlog I hope you enjoyed it we have really enjoyed our stay right oui. it is a really nice city like honestly they have everything you need like there's a beach there's loads of green space in the city there's hills, uh, if you like running on hills, and loads of vegan options. And I'm gonna say the same thing as I said about Brighton. I wouldn't mind living there. I think it's a great place to live. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I will link all the vegan places we went to down in the description. Um, and yeah, and it was a really nice hotel. We treated ourselves a little bit to a five-star hotel. We don't always do that, but it was quite nice. Uh, but yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!